This is Roger Struckoff with Syscon TV. We're at Cloud Expo Day 2 in Santa Clara, California at the lovely Santa Clara Convention Center. I'm sitting here now with Scott Chris, who is co-founder and CEO of Bidium. Software as a service. You know, I've heard that somewhere before. Somewhere in this cloud computing thingy, seems like there's a lot going on, and you're working with a lot of different companies on a lot of different platforms. So let, let's tell people a little bit about what you do and kind of what's top of mind for you right here as we sit. Sure, absolutely. So um, we help companies that are using a lot of software as a service. So we notice that companies that are even in the hundreds of employees might be using 50 to 60 pieces of software as a service. And that ranges from things like Salesforce and Google Apps to Hootsuite and, and applications that some people have never heard of. Um, we integrate with about 3,000 of them today. And what we do is help their company manage and get gain visibility into what people are using inside the company and decide to secure them or use standards to, in some cases, lock down, but in most cases, to embrace the adoption of, of software as a service inside of the company. How the heck does this happen? This sounds like hoarders, you know, or too much of a good thing. But uh, but the fact is that uh, most of the software as a service, most of these applications and, and services are um, not really renegade, not really shadow IT. I mean, how much shadow IT you're getting or compared to this stuff? Oh, it's perfectly authorized. We just have a lot of it. Yeah, that's a really good question. I think a lot of our customers are trying to get their arms around shadow IT and to decide whether or not shadow IT is necessarily a good or a bad thing. I think when uh, you know the CIO's role in a company is, is changing dramatically from being someone that locks things down and tries to figure out efficiency process to really looking at the business units and what they need to embrace what they're doing. And they're almost becoming a revenue line uh, in the company. So uh, looking at what people are using, deciding whether or not it's something that they want to uh, locked down at the network layer in some cases, which, you know, we think that's a, a fundamentally flawed way to go about business because the, the, the end consumer, the, the employee will always go around and figure out a way to do it. So giving them a sensible map to getting their arms around what they're using and then to decide to either secure or embrace the adoption of other software. And we do that through, like, integrating with their Active Directory or their primary authentication provider so that they can they can see what people are using and then decide. And they might notice that, hey, there's a company using Box and Dropbox and Google Drive. Um, that might not be a bad thing. Uh, it might be okay. But to, to understand that before making the decisions on what you're going to shut down. You know, traditionally, I think CIOs have a... a job span in any particular company like on a par with like baseball managers you know sure. hockey hockey coaches not long and the good news i guess is it allows things to refresh does it seem like there's sort of a new generation or, or you know sort of the role is evolving but the people driving that role are evolving as well i'm not sure which is who's in charge but the idea of a, of a cio not becoming becoming less of a policeman, I guess, yeah. and, and more of a cowboy? Is that sort of what's happening? Yeah, I don't know if I'd call it a cowboy. I think more of more of an innovator. Yeah. So taking into account the various departments within the organization and deciding, to working with them, not against them. So if you think about the average company that has a marketing budget and an IT budget, mm -hmm. you know who's going to win that war when it comes to software adoption. So the CIO that, that is coming forward and saying, you know what, I'm, I'm not here to shut things down and, and to to make sure that I don't get fired, which is the joke about IT managers, right? Their number one job is to not get fired. But it's really saying, let's let's embrace them as an innovator. Let's get them active and, and talking to the various departments within the company and helping guide the company in the right direction rather than policing. Well, it's interesting. There's this uh, sort of in inevitable urge for consolidation among the bigger companies. But with software as a service, it, it seems like you can't just completely squelch it. You know, when it, whenever you think uh, um, big companies got this under control and there's something else coming up, and that's sort of the future, for at least the immediate future, right? Yeah, and I, I think it depends on the application. When you take the core applications, an ERP, a CRM, or systems dealing with data, um, those are tend to be more sensitive. Or when you're dealing with compliance issues, where a company needs to be PCI compliant. So it's, it's deciding where that's appropriate for which applications, and which applications it's okay to be a little bit more liberal about the adoption. Yeah. What's your value proposition? I don't ask this of everyone, but in this case, I like to like to say when you're sitting there now, why are people doing business with Bidium? Uh, I think they're doing business with us because we take a slightly different approach to, to our competitors in the marketplace. Our competitors seem to be about locking the companies down and uh, managing the software as a service, where we also help them manage the software as a service. But we take an, a, a stance that we believe that you should embrace the employee to adopt the software, uh, get your arms around what that is, and then make intelligent decisions versus trying to um, solve a new problem with an old solution. That all sounds 
just way too reasonable. So uh, good, good, good luck. Cause it, it, it may just work. We've been sitting here with Scott Chris, who's CEO, CEO and co-founder of Bidium at Cloud Expo. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. For Cisco on TV, this is Roger Struckoff.